The amount of rogue lights on Nintendo Switch is absolutely staggering. From top to bottom, there is just a crazy amount of titles in this genre. It helps that most have unique twists that make them stand out. The market remains, however, a rather competitive one, and Moonlighter may seem to have trouble at first. The focus should be on May, simply because once I started to play it, I became obsessed with seeing the title through until the end. With a mix of dungeon crawling and shop managing, Moonlighter proved remarkably fresh. Moonlighter is all about a man called Will. This merchant wants to step out of the limelight and become a hero in one way or another. During the day, he has the Moonlighter store to run, while at night, he travels to some devious dungeons and collects items to sell. Will isn't just thinking about personal gain, but also out of a pure curiosity. He wants to know what secrets hide behind the walls of the mysterious underground structures. The town's elder, Xenon, is not keen on Will's antics, but grants him the basic tools he needs to make his dream come true. This is where Moonlighter truly begins. The game sees Will travel to four different dungeons, with three levels each to fully uncover. The deeper you go, the more unwieldy the patterns become. In a Binding of Isaac fashion, enemies lurk around every corner, and rooms require continuously more specific steps to navigate. In addition, you must clear a room and defeat all the monsters before you can settle into the next one. The ultimate goal in the dungeons is to defeat a guardian, a big boss that doesn't hold back. Once all the keys are collected, something really special will open up. The road to get to the guardian isn't without obstacles. Like I said, enemy and room patterns can go ham in no time. Worse is when you decide to leave, an entirely different layout will await you. Yep, the dungeons change every time you play. Well, unless you pay a hefty fee for a special portal. By putting a portal down, you can head back into town and get some work done before you go deeper into the crazy caverns. The player needs to know when to step back and decide to leave the dungeon altogether. Not for survival, but to keep the loot you tried so desperately to collect. In the worst case scenario, you could lose all of it. There are some frustrating moments to be had, but they can be overcome as long as you focus. Luckily, you can't really blame it on the combat, as it is fantastic. Most players will have no problems picking it up and learn the ropes within minutes. There's a standard attack, special attack, and a dodge roll which also functions as a jump. The dodge roll is critical to get over gaps in dungeons and adds a tiny bit of platforming to this overhead adventure. While the options may seem shallow, it completely turns around once you consider the five weapon types. Even better is how you can have two of these types and switch around them on the fly. You have large swords which are slow but powerful, but also a bow and arrow which are pretty weak but have a fantastic range. As there are plenty of enemies to get through, you will quickly find a combination that nets you the best results. The way you get weapons, gear upgrades and will be able to invest in your surroundings is pure money. At first, I thought that the shopkeep element was a nice twist that pushes the narrative forward. It turns out that Moonlighter has an entire economy in place, which you really depend on to win. Once you safely return to the surface, you will deck out your shop with the latest you collected. The player will be able to set their own pricing and see how customers react. These are clues to know how you should adjust pricing to get the best profits. This might be a lot to keep track of, but luckily the game holds a log that you can read when you need it. The demand for items will change and shady patrons might show up once in a while. As the shopkeeper, you will need to keep your eyes open at all times. While there's a lot to love about Moonlighter, there were some bugs I've encountered along the way. In a few instances, I clipped through the boundaries of a level. This was caused by shooting an arrow, which pushes Will a tiny bit backwards. This problem would cause, more often than not, a soft lock to occur. There were some tinier issues as well, but the game hasn't been completely polished before hitting the system. That being said though, the presentation and how it performs are unquestionably strong elements. Moonlighter is a really fun game from beginning to end. While there were some disappointing bugs to be found, it didn't overly hurt my feelings on the experience. I adored going through the dungeons, keeping up with the shop and reward myself with some upgraded gear. What helps is that the combat is incredibly smooth, which gives Moonlighter that one more go vibe. Overall, I liked it a lot. Once the game smooths out its problems, 
this will be an easy love did. For now however, thanks for watching. Be sure to stay subscribed to Game Explained for Nintendo eShop titles and other things gaming. See you later, bye.